Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Again, allow me to blow out the candle for you. So, Olivia reached 105. Um, she's asleep now because she had her morning medication this morning, her early medication. It was last night's medication under the food that she refused to eat. Hey darling, celebrating your birthday again? 105? <laughs> um, so yes, I'm amazed that she's still ticking along. The tumour has taken part of the face, it's been pussing out, so she's been cleaning that up. Um, she seems okay once her medication kicks in, but then the question becomes the quality of life. She's sleeping. Um, she was restless the other night because she wouldn't have her dinner, so she couldn't have her medication, um, which is, um, she's on an anti-inflammatory, which I usually give in the morning. She's had that one. And there's um, a powder from a capsule, which is a nervine and um, a sedative. Um, and she refused to have that the other night, as, as per last night. And so she was very restless through the night. Um, she sleeps on my chest under the doona, so she was doing a lot of tossing and turning. And um, uh, once she had the, the food, which was beside the bed, uh, in the morning, then she settled down. Um, and that's, again, happened last night. She wouldn't eat last night what I gave her. Um, I topped it up with something else this morning. Some, could I give her the dine puree? She's only having liquid foods. And um, uh, she ate that this morning, I think at about six o'clock. So now the medicine's kicked in and she's having a good sleep. She doesn't seem to be, I mean, the vet said cats are stoic, so you won't know if they're in pain or not. Um, she doesn't seem to be in pain except for the restless sleeping, sometimes the rubbing of the face. She tends to rub both sides anyway. Um, I was worried the other day, I've heard some crunching with her teeth for a while and I thought maybe the tumour's coming down through the jaw, but um, I haven't heard that again. Um, and she was drinking her Dine soup and salivating a lot into the soup as she was drinking it. She kept drinking it, though. Hey, darling, you okay? Here's my girl. And um, that got me worried. I thought, oh, it might be coming time. Um, but she's, she hasn't done that again. She hasn't salivated. I haven't had that food again either. So whether it was that food that was, was causing that. Um, but yeah, so, so it's um, May 1st, so uh, November she was 17, November, November, January was, so that was 102, six 17s are 102, so January she was 103, March 104, April, May 105, I got that right, I got the, I got the numbers right. Um, so she's still with me and how much longer, I don't know. Given it's a weekend and the vets are closed, there's no chance of being euthanized. Um, we'll see how we go. We're taking it day by day. One of my clients thinks she's getting better, but I think she's hopeful. And she knows I don't believe her. And I see Olivia on a daily basis and she see her on a monthly basis, sometimes. Sometimes you see them deteriorate. If you don't see them for a while and then you see them, you think they've deteriorated along. Like, poor, that was a drop. But she thinks she's getting better. Um, I don't see the face bit getting better, especially when the pus has been coming out uh, of it. Um, but otherwise she's eating, she's sleeping, she's cuddling, spent most of the night on my chest. I think after the medicine kicked in this morning is when she's gone, I'll bugger you, I'm sleeping on the pillow. Um, yeah, you okay sweetie? You okay darling? You okay? Have a look at that face. There's no pus coming out now. Hey. There's my girl. There's my girl. So in terms of quality of life, it's a it's a a good question. It's like if this was my grandmother 
and we just kept giving her morphine and she kept sleeping and not talking then that's probably not quality of life but Olivia is talking and cuddling and going outside for a piddle she hasn't been this morning but she 9 30 9 30 at night is her outside and piddle time isn't it darling outside and piddle time did you want some more to eat there's a little bit left here from before did you want some more of that did you want some more of that no something about your teeth maybe you've broken the teeth and that's why they're not grinding anymore no okay that's all right it's my girl it's a bit a bit blooded on the nose you've been rubbing on the nose this morning it's angel calling angel wants to go out we're celebrating olivia's birthday angel you have to wait come and celebrate the birthday with us sorry i don't have any presents other than medicine and food but then again what do you give a 105 year old hey just lots of cuddles lots of cuddles yeah um so in terms of the pain like she was flickering her head a bit um last night because she hadn't had the medicine and i think that's that's a sort of a radiating pain but i can't give her the medicine if she doesn't eat the food and you know I lost some of the medic medicine in foods that she wouldn't eat and I just to get rid of that and make sure Angel doesn't eat it because he can't have Angel sedated. <laughs> um, so it becomes a, a tough thing. Angel, we're up here, sweetie. Come up here, darling. Come, come celebrate the birthday with Olivia. No? All right. Your choice. So that's what I just what I wanted to celebrate Olivia's 105th birthday. 105. So May, June, July. If she makes it to 1st of July, it'll be 106. But the way we've been going the last week or not, I, I don't think so. I even looked up the number for the um, home visiting veterinarian. Um, in case something happened this weekend and I thought well I don't want her suffering but I don't think she's suffering especially when the meds <laughs> when, the, when the nervine kicks in the morphine I don't know if it's a morphine it's a, it's a neuro something or other it's called for a not a morphine she called it a sedative and a nerve pain tablet but just looking at it she's all right you're all right aren't you you're just having your snooze Probably not sleeping any more than she would have normally because once she got to about 15 she was sleeping long hours anyway. So her uptime is usually this time of the morning if she has the night medicine at night. Like I try and do that about 9.30 at night. Um, and if I give her the night medicine at night then she has a good sleep and she's awake in the morning. And we're up for a few hours and we go outside like last couple of mornings with the uh, sunshine. She was enjoying sitting outside in the sun. It's not sunny today so not missing out on anything um, and um, and then she has a med um, medicine in the morning when I give it to her in the morning and she'll settle down I was doing 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. or roughly that so so that was consistent but when she's not taking it at the 9 p.m. and ends up at 6 a.m. I can't give her 9 a.m. So she's um, going to sleep for a bit, for a few hours. She'll probably get out this afternoon. Um, get up once the medicine starts to wear a little bit. You'll get up this afternoon, hey? We'll go outside for a bit if it's not raining. She likes to go out if it's raining anyway. She likes to drink water from the puddles or water from the pot plant um, bowl. You okay? You okay, sweetie? Needs my gear. Yeah, you have some num more nanos. You let the medicine do its work and then you go out this afternoon and then see if we can hold off the pain relief until evening um, so we're active times as I say when the medicine's morning and night 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. Um, or 9 30 um, she's awake in the morning for a few hours or a couple hours and then um, in the evening and she likes to go out the car park we haven't we haven't we didn't last night I was out late last night we didn't go out last night but sometimes we have cuddle walks around the car park when the weather's good it's been nice just walk around the car park cuddling her um, 
that's been our night joy. There was a night there that she woke me at two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock. Oh. Um, and all she wanted to do was go outside. The one, one was after the r night rain, so whether the weather affected it. Um, I can't remember if she had the medicine or not, but um, she'd be screaming at the top of her lungs, let me out, let me out. Um, so two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, because of course I'm doing the, well, you know, she's sick and dying, of course you're going to give her whatever she wants. <gasps> And then the other night at 5.30 in the morning, I stood out there going like, come on, piddle if that's what you want. She didn't want to piddle. She wanted to sit in the moonlight, didn't you? You just wanted to sit in the moonlight. Yeah. You sat in the moonlight and I stood in the moonlight, full moon. It was lovely. 5.30 in the morning. And then we came back to bed. <laughs> Would have been good to stay up, but too dark. Another time. All right, so that's your birthday. That's your 105th birthday celebration. Yeah? Yeah? It's all right? Yeah? Here's my girl. All righty. Okay, okay, I'll let you sleep now. Uh, you got nanites? I'll let you go nanites. You got nanites? You got nanites? Yeah, she still enjoys her scratches. It's like, how can you put down a cat who still enjoys her scratches and her cuddles? See, when Willow was sick, like, Willow didn't eat for the last week before she got put down. Um, she couldn't even lift her head the day that we put her down because the red blood cell count, white blood cell count, red blood, I don't know, whatever was going down, wasn't working for her. And uh, Olivia's not in that place. She's still grooming herself. Willow gave up grooming herself. I mean, it was a stomach tumour. Maybe it hurt to bend. This is a facial tumour. This has got to be painful. You've always been a tough cat, though, haven't you? You've always been a tough cat. Yeah. Oh, she's my girl. Yeah, you like your scratches. You like your scratches. All right, let me let you sleep now. Let me let you sleep. Sing your happy birthday again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. That's my feel. All righty. That's my feel. You got nanos. Oh, you got nanos. Come and check on your after. Good girl.